<laughs> well, look who is here. Tim Zhu. Oh. He's joining us up here as the crowd mob him from behind. <laughs> Timmy, come on down. You barely worked up a sweat. How are you okay. feeling? <laughs> good. Good. <laughs> you sure? Good. Yeah, it was good. I, I remember you said after the, the Tony Harrison fight, it was easy. It was a walk in the park. How do you describe that fight? Um, a bit easier than a bit easier than Tony Harrison. <laughs> nice, nice and quick, actually. Yeah. Um, I saw I saw there, there was a bit of a gap in his in his uh, left hand, so there was just a little little gap there, and uh, I think that's all it really took. Take take every opportunity as you get. Can you quite believe it was that easy? I need to rewatch it. Um, me and Eagle talked about he's going to be tough. You're going to be able able to hit him, but he's going to be when you hit him, he's going to be able to punch back. So. Here it is right here. This yeah. is what I pointed yeah, out in this fight. You see, he comes out very tentative, and that left hand was really stale. It was stiff right there. Yeah. And I kind of felt like you saw that that right hand was going to be on the money. 100%. 100%. There was a, see, there's a gap there in between his guy, uh, just, just on his left shoulder. So I was like, all right, no worries. I'll let him. That wasn't it, yeah? Yeah. Well, we also talked about you coming out. You looked a little dry. Looked, looked like you may have been a little cold. How was the preparation in the back room before the fight? Yeah, it was. It, I, I was all right. I, I, oh, that was it. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> what do you see, think when you see this back? See, he's 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 out of it. I was trying to just do that one punch KO. Got a bit excited there. Um, Did you want to get him out there, out of oh, there? Well, when when the guy's it? rocking like that, I was like, you know what? I'd rather just try finish it off. Full transparency here. Oh. That, those moments that you throwing those big punches, was a little bit of that the crowd? Was a little bit um, that you no. wanted to have that highlight reel knockout? To a certain extent, yes. Yeah. Let's, to a certain be, extent. let's be real here, yeah, all right? To a certain extent, it was. You're talking I to was, Sean Porter. Yeah, let's yeah. be real. I was a bit excited. <laughs> when you come out to a hostile crowd like this, um, where every single person is uh, going crazy, I think uh, it's a bit hard for me. Well, because to that point, my argument with you fighting abroad back home in, in America is everyone's going to say, well, he did it in Australia. Can he do that in America? Oh, man. Just kind of talk about what you feel in terms of pressure, the energy of the moment, <laughs> and all those things. Here, being here and having to do that, you know, uh, outside of home. Yeah, I think, um, I think it's going to be a different feeling. I think it's going to be a, a little bit of a different feeling, but I've always, it's always been my dream to go there. So I think I'm going to be a, a complete different person when I actually get in there. It's going to turn me into something else. Tim, you're the, the ultimate professional. Like I know, you'll go there six or eight weeks before you'll be ready, and the Americans are going to love you. And the sooner you get there, the better. I got there too late. You've got plenty of time. Get there, enjoy it, do what you've done today, and they will love you there. You think Australians love you? The Americans <laughs> love their box. I want, to be a, love you. I want to be a throwback fighter. Just gets in the ring with whoever, whenever, wherever, you know? And uh, I think boxing fans, such as American boxing fans, respect that. Well, and, Kim, and that's what I want to be respected for. I say this without any hesitation. Keep doing what you've done today, and the, your dad and I are going to be there, and you're going to be up there. Yeah. Just keep doing it, mate. It was amazing today. Yeah, if I can do half of what you and dad did, I'll be a happy man. Ah, well, you've yeah. done that already, mate. Just, <laughs> just keep doing what you're doing. I'm so, so proud of you. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks. I just want to bring your attention to uh, what Terence Crawford has just... Uh, tweeted out a moment ago, he says uh, he's dangerous talking about you. Yeah, I respect Crawford a lot. He's one of my favorite fighters, actually. Um, that's that's uh, that's pretty cool to see that he's watched my fight, actually. I, I know that it's all a lot of talk, and I know that you said you felt like an eagle. I'm gonna keep going back to this, and I know you said today <laughs> that you felt like a pit bull. Uh, once you get in the ring, you're not, I don't think you're thinking I'm a pit bull today or anything no. like that, but. Do you feel like the pit bull came out? Do you feel like you, you, know, you know what today in the ring when I got when I got in the ring I was like I was just shaking back and forth like that. I was like that's it. Yeah. There's something there's a switch going off for me, the switch going off. Uh, but the first 20 30 seconds you could see I'm I'm measured. I'm I'm sort of blocking, trying to yeah. catch the shots, trying to see exactly what I got in front of me. Well Sean did see. Sean picked it up. Sean said you noticed the, the drop of his left hand and you were gonna come over the right hand and you done it on occasion occasion again. Which is Tim what I love about you the most is 
how you look and you, you prepare exactly what you need to do. I've been trying to tell Hass, look where you're going to land your punch. And today Hass had a great fight, but watching you, I hope Hass can sit down and study what you've been doing, and it's going to make him a better fighter as oh, well. I appreciate that, man. Appreciate that. It's, uh, for me, this camp was all about uh, comfort inside that, inside that ring, and that's where I felt most comfortable. It's a weird feeling. We've just seen pictures of your mum actually going into the room of, of Carlos Acampo. Um, what do you make of that? I mean, do you feel for him in this moment, given he's you know, made the long journey down here, yeah. even just for a, a moment? Right now, of course, there's, there's, a, there's a bit of feelings involved. But nothing, nothing before I was... Look at that. Yeah. That's, a, that's a mama being a mama right 100%. there. 100%. Well, they care about everybody. 100%. Yeah. Does she speak 100%. a bit of Spanish, Tim? No, no, she has, no, she doesn't. But there's the translator right there. After, after a fight, would your mom ever express to you, oh, I was worried for the other guy or anything like that? No. No? Uh, actually, you know what? I haven't really spoken to her about it. To a certain extent, yes. Yeah. To a certain extent, yes, actually. Wow. Yeah. It was interesting. It was a really different vibe in his room before the fight compared to yours. You guys were in that huddle. He was sort of standing to himself. And to be honest, when he walked out here, I, I did look in his eyes and think did he he felt a bit nervous he just felt a bit sort of out of his comfort zone did you get that sense when you looked at him no. from across the ring no no I could, I could i could probably understand where he's feeling from you know this 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 is a hostile crowd this yeah, is, this is pretty crazy room. and to be to be the outsider it's, it's of course it's intimidating i could for sure okay let's talk charlo yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anything else you want to say to him no look i'm i'm a professional at heart I want the big fights. Me and him are right now the top. He's the he's the man of the division. I'm the second in line right now. So I think we should just get it on. Uh, I know his hand is has been busted, but now you know uh, let's just let's just get it get it done. And you know that was the message sent right there. When you when you look at this fight a year ago with, with you and Charlo, of course, and then you look at this fight now, what are the differences that you see now yeah. compared uh, to what that fight would have been? Comfort, a year ago? comfort mm. in there. Comfort. I, short end I think it was a blessing. I think the Tim Zoo that's going to meet him now is going to destroy this guy. The Tim Zoo <laughs> that was going to do it a year ago, I was a little worried. But I'm totally don't have a worry in the yeah. world now, Tim. <laughs> We've just heard your mum's back in your room now. Is oh, there okay. anything you want to say down the barrel to your supporters who can listen in at the moment? What's that? Say it again. Everyone can listen in at the moment. Is there anything you want to say to everyone who's uh, gathered oh, look, in your room I'm, at the moment? I'm blessed and honoured to have the support of Australia. Uh, everyone, book your tickets. October, we're going to Vegas. You're back in the gym tomorrow <laughs> or do you give yourself yeah, a break after this? I didn't even do nothing today. <laughs> and I've had fight week off a little bit, you know. Just, I'll be back in the gym 100%. Oh, bring it on. Good on you, Timmy. He's not going to be in the gym tomorrow. <laughs> no, 100% I will. I'll I've, I've, I've seen his cars. I'll put you He's not going to be. I've seen I'll your cars. I'll take a photo and I'll put it up. I've seen your cars. You won't be at the gym tomorrow. <laughs> we'll let you go. Good on no, you, Tim. You. Well done. We're super proud see of you. you. Nice to see you again, yes, bro. We thank love you. being on this journey with Tim Zoo. The crowd getting around him. <laughs> Good on you, Timmy. Love you, brother. Thanks. Hey, thank you, brother. Thank you, Tim. <laughs> uh, what Jeff uh, just said right there. He said this was an absolute blessing, having having these 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 layoffs from from Charles. One hundred percent, I agree. It's giving them time to to grow, giving them more time to, like he just said, get more comfortable with being in the ring, fist swinging, and having to just move with the punches, you know.